Hello everyone and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale here on the Gaming Droid uh, every Monday and Thursday. So we've just come down here, we are currently in the Soaring Meadows looking for the artifacts to awaken or summon the Lord of the Mance. Uh, we've got to go to the, the multiple mansions, I think it's four mansions we've got to find. And we've got to uh, find the way. We're doing our best to collect as much of the um, stuff from around here as well, doing the best to collect as much of the treasure from around here, to reduce the amount of backtracking I have to do later. But, uh, ooh, there is a bomb thing up here, I think. So there's multiple different bomb routes we have to take. There's no door to get in through here. I think I did see a... Did I see a bomb fruit over here? Yes, I did. So, bomb fruits do have timers on them. So there's one, and there's two. It's got us a key, which isn't the only treasure in this area. Ah. And again, as always, we're going to check to see if we've got anything that we can sell to him. Boom! Lovely jubbly. You're so there's more treasure in this area. Treasure is down here. You need to get bomb proof all the way down here. And we can also explore this way. I think this is probably going to be... Oh no, this is the treasure. Open key. E, Y, X, Y. Easy peasy. We get some hot dogs and also some other food. What was that? That was hot dogs and hot cocoa, which between the two of them there are 180 HP heal and 160 HP heal. I'm going to stick with just kind of burning through my feed and fruits to be fair. And my uh, low to nuts, because they're not really useful healing items at this level of the game. And then we'll have our 34 chicken waiting. So we need to get these bomb fruit all the way down there, which is going to be a bit of a challenge. Because of the time limit set on the bomb fruit, but. Oh, come on, he got in the way of the bomb fruit? Seriously? That's how that's how you're gonna do me, game. You're gonna do me with him getting in the way of the bomb fruit. Fair enough. Wall chicken, we get the last key in this area and we have to go into the cave to uh, Nanoth Mansion. Okay. And we're going to be chased by another ghost. So these things we can't hurt, we just have to try and outrun them. Uh, they do about 400 damage per swipe, so that's not good. This way. Give me the chicken. I was thinking I'd have to double back over the top of it then, but obviously not. They're not fast though, so the attacks are reasonably slow, so they're pretty easy to deal with. Not worried too much about being chased by them. As you can see by the fact that Dust is deciding to have a leisurely stroll, rather than you know, run for his life. He's just deciding to stroll backwards and forwards. Excuse me. Grab my two wall chickens. To 40 wall chickens, crikey. But in the last episode we did get the um, ability to climb vines, so we can go back and get an awful lot of the treasures we missed previously. Okay. Is this not where I was meant to be? Oh! Okay! When Master Kane left his office this morning, I snuck in to clean up his mess. It's my job after all. But then I saw his desk covered in papers, emblazoned with names, so many names. I could see the names of our neighbours, the ones who had been taken away, and then at the very bottom of the list, my own name. 
I think I could be in terrible danger, but I... The note ends abruptly. Ooh, Kane, 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 what have you been doing? And we now have the personal diary and the old painting. Newlywed couple and a leather-bound diary worn from heavy use. So that's gotten us all the items from that section. When we come back down into this section, and now this area is zombied up with regular enemies. Grab my wall chickens. Killing off everything because experience and um, makes it easier to navigate this area. Come on, fruit. I'm going to need you somewhere, I know it. Here we go. One more and a couple of chests. Nice. What's the betting at least one of these is a trap chest with insects in it? No, no trap chest. That gave us the vast Ring of the Master Artisan. 2 regen, 20 attack, so it increases my attack, it increases my regen, and it gives me an experience bonus. Slightly better than the Ring of the Apprentice. I can make one of those, and I don't need the glowing ring anymore because I'm not in the caves. Huh. So more experience, um, better attack, and a little bit of health regen. And plague oil blueprint. Wow, okay. That goes from plus 50 and 1.2 to plus 220. How much does that cost to make? I need one more of the slime. I need one more slime coat and I can make myself a plague oil. It does seem that uh, the what you require to make certain things is a little bit off from how useful they are. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to let those guys detonate themselves. I'm not massively fussed about making sure I get everything from those guys. So supposedly there is some more treasure in here. There's at least a key. I need to be like right up against here. Get the key, come back through. And that's all the treasure in that manor, so we don't have to worry about coming back to the manor at all. Manor at all, manor at all. And because it's a door, we don't have to worry about. Um... No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. We don't have to worry about the need to. Ow! Five damage. All that for five damage. Bloody insects. Um, we don't have to worry too much about the risk of um, not being able to get back through the door. Well, it says we're 61% complete on the game, so I'm moderately impressed with that. If anything, that just keeps them distracted. You! You are going to fucking die if it is the last thing I do. I'm going to erase you creatures from existence. And they do give a thousand experience a pop, which is pretty dang good, really, all things considered.
grab whatever these guys are dropping and we'll see if we can't get our way past here. There is some treasure in this area, but I'm not really sure where it is. No, I jumped. Why did I jump? I don't think it's over here. We've killed pretty much everything now. And I don't think it's over the other side of this drop. No. We didn't see anything on the way up either, so... That's the drop down. Is it over here? Yes, treasure. There we go, fully looted. And we're already up to 62%. That's good. I don't know where I'm going to find the 12 companions. I'm presuming a lot of them are up climbing walls previous areas, because there were climbing walls in a lot of the previous areas. No! Well, at least it got me across. Through. 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 Yes, 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 yes. Insects, insects. Bloody, bloody, bloody. And again, there is some treasure. It is not going to be... I don't think they're not going to use the same trick twice. No, they didn't use the same trick twice. This means there is treasure around here somewhere, but where it is, I am unaware. Let's see if we can't spot anything suspicious anywhere. Might as well just kill what we can. I'm close to level 9, which is nice. And 31,000 um, gold. Ah, treasure chest. It was just over here, that was it. Quite a few of the food sources. The Chaldulbagi. And a Master Ring of Wealth. Okay, so this is... Two attack, one uh, four defense, and one point five item drop. This is one regen, twenty attack. So higher attack, lower defense, better luck. Uh, doesn't have the item drop, but does have an extra point of regen. So combined together, that's three regen. Cool. I'm I'm quite impressed with that. And there is still stuff to steal apparently. I think this is the way I came from, so if this is the way I came from, yeah, this is the way I came from, that means the stuff to steal must be over the other side. Oh, that was, that was stupid. That was dumb. Well, up from that anyway. Uh, let's go back into putting stuff into Fidget, because Fidget's Zapier power is a little bit over the top. So, theoretically, over here... Nothing? I must get something to do with these air jets later on, some kind of quick jump that I get from those air jets. Because they seem to be positioned in places where if I could make the air jet stronger, I could throw myself up. But I can't make the air jet stronger, so I'm guessing I need to get an ability for that. So up we go. Let's just use our vine climb to get up here. There's treasure in this area, so possibly down here. Because I don't think we've been down here. Yep, treasure key. And that hasn't raided this area completely. Hmm. Oh no, it has. It just took a little while to update. Yes, yes, very scary. Slimes and all that, I'm sure. Uh, 
There we go. You see that I'm just now kind of bypassing things because I don't want really to. It's worth my time to. bother with these things. There is no um, treasure in this area. Wow, that... seriously? Like five times jumping height or something serious, let's see, uh, silly like that. me. I understand you uh, want to do your jobs, but can you just die, please? Thank you. Ooh, another one of you. Time to cheese. That laser blaster now does a lot more damage than I do, so... Thank you. That's now going to be just my default fighting style. Is just to cheese it. I can imagine if you put all your points into fidget from the very start and just kind of max fidget, you'd never actually get hit by anything. You just do that. And then all the things just get out of your way. Oh look, it's a nasty jumpy thing that's really, really hard to hit. Oh wait, I have fidget lasers. I have large amounts of fidget, fidget lasers. You dead yet? There we go, it's dead. The difficulty of fighting those for 1,200 experience. Ooh, can I pick up the rose? There's a rose there. Why is there a rose here? Oh well, so that's one way to deal with combat in this game, and deal with it ridiculously easily. And once we get the uh, upgraded weapon increase, that'll increase our normal attack damage and our gidget attack damage as well. Oh come on, I... Okay, so it kind of sprays poison all around itself, not just in the direction it's facing. That's frustrating. I'm going to have to buy more Revival Stones. I'm going to have to buy more Revival Stones. How many Revival Stones do I have? I am out of Revival Stones. Okay. Fine. Those insects, like it looks like they should spray poison in a single direction, but they just seem to spam poison all around themselves. Yeah, it seems to like spray poison behind it. Not really sure how you're managing that, my friend. But 
that's fine. We'll come across a shop at some point and... Um, one second, I need to get rid of something so I can see where my recording is at. Stupid pop-ups. Okay, so when we come across the next safe, we'll pull it there for a little while. Seriously? No save point or shop yet? I suppose I have been spoiled recently. Shop. So there's a mansion in the background, which means we're coming close to another mansion area. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not see you against the background then. That background rendered you pretty much invisible. Okay, so save point and shop. So what I'll do is I will call this here. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Dustin Legion Tale. I have been the gaming droid. And uh, we have been getting our asses handed to us by monsters that shouldn't hand our ass to us. And killing things that should be hard to kill really easily. I will see you all in the next episode every Monday and Thursday here on the channel. Bye!